Hello everyone and welcome back to Realism Overhaul Sandbox, Incredible Space Program 1.12 this time. I'm here with a somewhat of a control experiment as we are going to be launching the exact same Orion carrier plane with the same payload that we had at the end of the previous Orion carrier plane test. But we did that in 1.8.1 and we're going to see how it does in 1.12. So we're going to see the difference in aerodynamics between the two. Uh, with the exact same setup and going from Tampico to Bahamas as we did in the previous video on the Orion carrier plane. So Tampico launch pad and we'll see how that looks here. I have adjusted it of course. Uh, it needed a little bit of tweaking to its position. Uh, but sometimes after I do that and then we take something out to the pad it looks a little bit different so we'll see. Uh, yeah and maybe it'll work out exactly the same, maybe it'll be different. Uh, previously when I tried the Orion carrier plane in 1.12 it performed differently than in 1.8.1 so I have no idea maybe we'll absolutely need jet engines for it in here. Uh, to some extent this is preparing for maybe bringing the to Mars and Beyond series in 1.12 uh, to 1.12 from 1.8.1 of course that'll be quite a thing because there are a lot of mods involved and uh, we have to make sure they're all still sort of working the same way, but uh, because in To Mars and Beyond I mainly used my own parts, well these are procedural tanks, that's my own part, uh, I'm using a lot of my own parts, uh, that does make it easier to move from one version to another. So anyway, let's see if this works. Okay, here we are, looking good so far, SAS on, throttle is not working, alright, well I'll do it the other way. Okay, throttle is up, and ignition, and launch, and the, the pad always wiggles. I could put the pad as a fixed structure here. Turning it into a Kerbal Construct structure would make it static and definitely not move around like that. The downside is we wouldn't be able to use the arm animation. Uh, if I can do some color correction on it, I should do that. It's obviously not perfect right now. I literally took the photo scenery images direct from Ortho 4 XP into here. I did not do any touching up or anything like that. But doing the touching up will be sort of trivial if I decide to. Yeah, actually the area we've occupied is apparently an oil and gas. Uh, facility. I think I meant I said steel. There's only part of it is a steel thing. Uh, made, uh, you can, those are little oil and gas fields. Okay, turn off some engines and rolling. Ah, uh, yes. There's the residuals thing here. Um, doesn't say anything about residuals on this though, so I don't know. Let's see how much we've got. Not a whole lot. We went to 4,100 meters per second on the last try. Uh, I don't think we're gonna get quite to that. I think we have to go like that to be safe. Yeah, we, we don't have enough for a boost forward here right now, so it doesn't say anything about residuals, but it sure feels like we have less. We didn't get any higher, so some of the fuel didn't show up as Delta V. Right now our path is like that, again to the Florida Keys as we had in I think the final attempt in 1.8.1. But really the difference is gotta be in the aerodynamics, or at least that's what we're checking out. Okay, entering the rough patch. Also what will determine how much lift we get. Same pitch. Well, the payload really came close there, didn't it? Payload and upper stage. Uh, between 11 and 12 on that dial. In truth, that always overstates it. So if we look here, it's 11.1 G's. Okay, back up we go. I'll keep it to 30. I did that on the last attempt in the 1.8.1 .1 video. But there's not going to be any boosting forward. The upside to 1.12 is that the coastlines don't flicker and it's possible to get better visuals down the road because 
Parallax exists. <laughs> Parallax exists, so we could get ground scatter, and there's other mods that have been developed that improve visuals. Of course, this is using real visual enhancements instead of the older RSS visual enhancements. So, yeah, though I've heavily tweaked that and actually removed some features because I felt that they weren't giving the effect that I wanted. But there are plus sides to using 1.12. Well, we're probably going too slow to get over there. But we might as well check the aerodynamics on the way down. I have to pitch down. We'll stall here. There's a very different sort of situation than we had before. We experienced more drag. It slowed down more. Normally we would be only going at this speed at a lower altitude. And it's getting more wiggly, so atmospheric autopilot time. Yeah, so if you watched a 1.8.1 video, you can sort of tell a difference in the speeds that we are at at different altitudes. Considering I had just set a particular pitch in Smart ASS and let it follow that. You can see by comparison that we get a lot more drag here. Way off compared to any of the attempts that we did in 1.8.1. Well, meanwhile, down here it's taking forever to actually slow down. I wish we could retain the speed higher up a little bit better, but we've got air brakes. Probably not to stall it though. But we will splash down. We are here. So, quite a ways away. So, not just a difference, but a pretty big difference. I mean, it's not flying badly or anything. And the extra drag, I mean, you could argue is except, I mean, could be correct. I mean, uh, I have not done a wind tunnel test on this. Kerbal is the best I've got, one way or another, and it technically works in 1.8.1, and it technically flies here too, right? It's flying. Uh, it can make a controlled splashdown, as it were. I'm not entirely sure about the splashdown part, but it could certainly have made a landing. So, yeah, it flies. And the question is, how well should it maintain its speed? Drag is against speed, right? Drag is not against lift. Uh, lift is opposite weight. Drag is opposite speed. So, yeah, how much can it retain its speed? How much drag is it supposed to get? Well, that's a, that depends on its drag coefficient, and clearly in 1.12 its drag coefficient is being calculated differently than in 1.8.1. Its drag coefficient should be pretty darn good. I mean, it doesn't present too much frontal area, not any more than we could absolutely avoid doing. Uh, and it's sort of sleek. But anyway, let us revert this. And I think I'm gonna try slapping jet engines on it and seeing what kind of effect that has. Uh, could we potentially... And then we'll probably need to put a little bit of a surplus of methane. I'll probably just put that in the jet engine pods. And it's important that we place the jet engines, for the sake of simplicity, close to the center. Well, we can't see the center of mass while it's on the platform because the platform is really heavy. But um, we'll place them close to the center mass, which should be here. And you know that should be here because the wheels have to be behind it. So somewhere around there. And then we will see how that goes. Hopefully the jet engines won't imbalance it too much. Okay, so I've decided to put the engines on the side of the body instead of on the wing so that we're not like blasting the bottom of the wing. And also it's easier to put them in symmetry because the wing pieces are actually different. They are not placed in symmetry, so this way is a little bit easier. We're using the NKA9 LNG turbofans, which are the only methane uh, turbofans that have ever been tested as far as I know. So. We've got good numbers for them, but more or less. And uh, we have filled these tanks to 45% utilization only. Basically, I wanted them to be one ton, 
and they have liquid methane. And hopefully we've placed them well enough so that uh, they won't be a problem for the center mass. You know, I think we can do with just two. Let me try it with just two first, and then we'll put four if absolutely necessary. Four would definitely work uh, for like a ferry mission, for instance, uh, if it was going to fly back from Bahamas to Tampico, we would probably want four. But let's try two for this kind of business, just to extend its range and see if that works out. Um, I don't know how much fuel we really need, we'll just put it to this much first, or maybe we should just guarantee it. We'll, uh, we'll say 90%, and I mean, hopefully that'll guarantee it. Who knows? Who knows if that'll guarantee it or not. Uh, we certainly... Okay, that's those are all the way up there. I think we want them here. Okay, alright. So let's try this out. Alright, here we go again with two jet engines. SAS on, throttle up, ignition. And launch. I've got remember to aim camera. I always forget to aim camera. The launch pad is so heavy that when we release from it, uh, the center of mass is changed by a lot, and the camera follows the center of mass. Okay, well, we can't get to 4,100. That's for sure. Let me try again. Well, there are definitely residuals. <laughs> we definitely have residuals here. So, yeah. There was unusable fuel, stuff that could not be used by the engines. And it's a little bit less than 1%, it looks like, which is nice. But it's somewhat randomized, the residuals. So sometimes it'll be more than that, sometimes it'll be less than that. We went a little bit higher, too. But it looks like we should probably switch off Maybe even less than 4,000 meters per second. Let me try again. Alright, ignition and launch. So, lower speed we're targeting here. Which causes problems if the jet engines can't make up the ground, of course. Okay, we really need the orbital velocity. It's actually, it's happening rather quickly here. Okay, I haven't even pitched down yet. Uh, that's a bit weird. The dynamics are a little bit different. Uh, we're way lower when hitting these speeds here. Um, okay, well, I'm, I'm, I've gone too low, but let's... I, I guess I was shallower this time than last time more than usual. Okay, well, we are shallower. Let's see how that works out for us. Well, as expected, we're gonna be falling short here. What can the jet engines do? I guess we'll find out. We could also do a little bit of a boost with the main engines. Okay, here we go. And the explosions of everything else. Reminding us that we have to be careful. Whoa, speaking of not being careful. Uh, I should try and light those engines a bit. Yeah, we have to be careful about this. Look at the overheating indicators. That's only on the separatrons, though, so even if those blew up, we wouldn't be in too bad a shape. Now, we were at a lower apoapsis, so the g-forces were lower. It's just the direct relationship between what apoapsis you get to and what g-forces you have, so 9.6 g's only this time. If I can sell the fuel down, I'll use the delta v for the Rex engines here. But I, I can't seem to sell the fuel down. I have to review the RCS thrust replacements. I could have sworn that in addition to this one at the top, we would have had two on the side here. They're sort of invisible ones. I just placed the transforms. You can see there's some puffing there. But I thought I had some backward-facing ones a little bit lower. Oh, okay. We've got uh, fuel settled here, so let me try to light it. Well, that's all we can get out of them. That's residual as far as I can tell. Okay, well, yeah, we've slowed down a little bit too much here. I can't 
be hanging out at this altitude at this speed, otherwise we'll stall. But we're right next to the Fort Florida Keys, so those jet engines will have to do a lot of work for us. I hope we have enough fuel. Okay, let's try them. Um, I need to shut... well, they, they won't fire right now anyway. Let's just get the jet engines going. And I'll just shut these down manually. I forgot to actually group them. The jet engines with just two of them aren't going to be able to hold this past Mach 1, of course. And we need to be on atmospheric autopilot now. It says 37 minutes of duration. We're not going particularly fast. Does that look like a 37 minute trip to you? Of course I'll be using Fizz Warp, but first we'll stabilize and at some heightened speed. Having just two jet engines would be not good for taking off with this. But just holding stable at cruise speed should be fine, as long as they're at full power. I'm pretty sure we can dump the oxygen now. That'll save us some trouble. Yeah, we'll need four. I mean, we keep losing speed with these two. Well, we're here now. This is basically where we splashed down last time. I think we finally stabilized on speed, maybe. But we're still going down a bit. Let me try and level up. Okay, turning a bit. We are reaching the coast. When is my Bahama scenery going to pop up? Oh, is it there, but it's too low? Okay, I think I need to fix the Bahamas scenery a bit. We've got four minutes of fuel left, but it seems to be a little bit low. I wonder how the runway is. I'll wait till I land before trying to mess with it. But you can see, it's. Uh, I think it's, it needs a little bit of a rotation, maybe? I don't know. Well, landing is easier when you have a jet engine. Oh, two. So we actually made it with the two jet engines. I was worried because we weren't holding speed and altitude where I wanted to, but we ended up at about 5,000 meters and 200 meters per second, much slower than airliner speeds, but well, good enough, as it turns out. So we kept the same payload and we didn't impart too much less uh, speed to the payload though we went to a lower height. I think we were at 180 kilometers before and we were at 150 this time So in 1.8.1 it was like 180 kilometers. The speed was a little bit slower maybe by about 120 meters per second or something like that So we uh, overall we would say that we can carry less payload with this in 1.12 and that's obvious with the resi residual situation anyway. Okay, brakes. Alright. Alright, well we're off to one side, but you know. It landed. In fact, I don't think I technically landed landed in the 1.8.1 video. So it is an improvement, but again, jet engines help. Oh, we got a hop. Uh, oh, it took out the body flap anyway. Just as I was saying, we made it. Uh, I can just shut those off. How is there a hop in this runway anyway? It's like flat as anything. Weird. Okay, well I'm gonna park and adjust the scenery a bit, but there we have it. We were able to land it in 1.12 uh, with the addition of two jet engines, but it obviously performs differently, so it was important to test it out. And maybe we'll want four jet engines, so, but of course that would cut into our payload capacity even more. So we will see. But for now, 
Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I will see you next time.